Hi, welcome to my December 13th video update. Many who are into online video have heard of the app called Switcher. It's basically a, uh, a multi-camera control uh, app that allows you to go live on, say, Facebook uh, or YouTube and control multiple inputs so that you can have you know, four or five, six different smartphones, for example, sending a signal to one mobile device that is uh, controlling all of the other devices. That means as a one-man show, one-person show, you can ha control a whole array of devices that are perhaps capturing on-the-spot B-roll or one angle this way and then perhaps another angle this way. Switcher is, supposed to, is, is very popular, it's very uh, well accepted, and a lot of people are using it. I've downloaded it and tried it, but I just can't get it to work right for me. And I'm really not interested in going live, at least not yet. What I'm really interested in is having the ability to be able to uh, have multiple views so that I can talk to you at, at this angle and, and, and I can talk to you at this angle. Uh, just to add a little variety to the recording of just a, a talking head, for example. But I have tried a relatively new entry into this arena called Cinemaker. Cinemaker Capture is a, an app that runs on the devices that are going to be the cameras. And Cine, uh, Cinemaker Director, or Director Pad, controls those devices that are running Cinemaker Capture. And it, too, allows you to have multiple uh, devices sending a signal to the director. Uh, the nice thing is, though, they also record on the device that they're running on. So it's record as it's recording uh, a video. For example, this video, uh, a, the version from this angle is being saved to my iPad Pro, and the version, or the video rather, from my iPhone 7 is, is being saved to the iPhone 7. So Cinemaker allows the user to have four inputs. So four smartphones, for example, controlled by one iPad. It also allows for eight different audio inputs. Now, that's the paid version. There's a studio version and there's a pro version. And uh, the studio version, I think, is around $20 a month. And the pro version is around $50 a month. You can use the free version and, and have two inputs. And really, for me, that's probably all I need, just, just to add a little bit of variety to my productions, if you will. So these inputs, the four inputs for video, don't have to just be smartphones or, or tablets. They can also be HDMI-capable cameras or a variety of things. And so that makes Cinemaker really quite versatile. And then add the eight audio inputs, you really have some variety. So at the heart of these apps, Switcher Studio, for example, and Cinemaker, is uh, replicating really what, what used to be like a TV control room, where a producer is controlling what camera takes are being taken. Or like if you watch a football game, you know, the, somebody in a control room is, is deciding which camera to send out on the live feed. Uh, and of course, the purpose for this is to be able to do live, live broadcast. But it's also useful, as I've just said, to make you know, vid videos that have, a little, that have different perspectives on the, the subjects. Or if you're interviewing someone, you can have a wide shot that has both people, and you can have a, uh, an individual shot that's close up to one person, and then switch to another person. So it's really very cool. And uh, so I thought I'd bring this to your attention if uh, you're interested in this sort of thing. And as I say, I'm experimenting with Cinemaker. And I'll do a little bit more experimenting and uh, I'll let you know what I think. So thank you very much for checking in on this video update. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.